Welcome to Wisdom Wednesday number 97. I know it's all me. Question. I've been meditating for about 10 years now and I've had some powerful divine experiences. But I'm having trouble holding on to those experiences. They seem to be they seem to come by surprise and I feel gifted. But life goes back to normal and I lose them. I want to stay in those states. How do I do this? Yeah, so you've been having what we call divine experiences. You, you are entering into the state where you're starting to see that it's all you everywhere. There is a, 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 a sense of connectivity, a, a union, a, a oneness everywhere, and it's divine and it fills you up and you feel whole and complete. So you've, but you've had a glimpse. So what is it that you want? Do you want to have just more um, time-limited experiences? Or do you want the vision of oneness? Do you want to just have an experience where it, it starts, that you open up and then it closes down, or do you want something that's more permanent? Now, as, as a meditator, if you're meditating, what you're doing is you are purifying your nervous system, you are opening up channels, and every day, every time you sit to meditate, every time you put your attention on that divine, there's a purification process going on. You're clearing out all your karmic debts. You are preparing yourself to be able to hold that vision longer or that state longer. So this is the purpose of your daily practice. You must do this. Um, you say they come by surprise, but actually all you're doing is you're just uh, creating the ground, the, the ground, the grounds for um, divinity to to shower you. So what is it that you want? You want, really, everybody wants this, a permanent state, a vision of oneness. So how do you go about doing that? Okay, so you've had an experience, and the experience was direct. You realized in that moment of that directness that it's all you. You say, it's all me everywhere, everywhere you look. Even with your eyes open or closed, you know it's all me everywhere. That's the divine, that's the divine experience. But it's an experience. Why is it an experience? Because it's happening inside of a nervous system. And nervous systems are limited. How is it that you are going to know that it's all you all the time? This is what you want. This is what we all want. We want to know it all the time, even when our five senses are opening and they're functioning and you are in a body and you're dealing with life, uh, life situations and you don't want to feel a difference between a divine experience and a mundane experience. So what do you do? What you do <coughs> is you take the direct experience that has now become a memory and you focus on the essence of that memory which is divinity and when you meditate you go there you go to that experience it's now it's not direct it's a memory but you can practice with the memory and now that you've gotten inspired in your practice because you've had those direct experiences use them for deepening so that now you are convinced you know it's there because it's direct so now i know it's all me you know it's all you but now it's memory that's taking you there before, you sort of happened against it or happened into it just because meditation opens up these channels. But now you've got something to hold on to in terms of knowing what your object of meditation is. 
Your object of meditation now is the direct experience, your memory of the direct experience. Use that and meditate remembering how it feels to be completely at one with everything. And then even though your eyes deceive you and tell you that it's all separate and different, you know, because you've had the direct experience, you know now through memory that it is all you everywhere. And this is now the practice. You've got something even better to work with. And now if you, so you meditate with confidence and intention, pure intention to reconnect with this truth. Because the fact is, divinity is there all the time. It never goes away. We go away. We lose track. We get distracted. We believe in what the senses tell us and what our minds tell us. But if the we, the I, puts the attention back on the divinity, it gets double strength because now you know it's direct. You've had a direct experience and now you're using the memory of that direct experience to reconnect you. That's double force. Now there's no confusion or, or mystery about it. You know it's true. You just have to deepen it, stay with it, with all your heart because you're on to something now. Stay with it. Yes. I know I am divinity. I know it's all me everywhere. Stay with that. I know it's your confidence. Stay with the confidence. Stay with the intention. I know. It's all me everywhere. And now when you walk around, you will, even though your eyes and senses and mind and the patterns of, of the usual way seem to show up, but you're able to now see through all of the illusion of the forms and know that really the essence of everything is just me. I know it's all me everywhere.